Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and what an incredible day it is. Look at the sun, there's no clouds in the sky, blue skies all around and that can only mean one thing, I've made my mind up and the ewes and lambs in the crash area are all going to go out this morning. So hopefully that all goes to plan. We've also got a single in here that's lambing so we want to get one adopted onto her quickly first then we're going to head off and get all the ewes and lambs out. If you do enjoy it today guys, please tap that like button. And if you want to see another video tomorrow, pretty much the same but different, subscribe to the channel and I hope you enjoy it today guys because it's gonna be a good one seeing all the ewes and lambs back out of grass. Cheers guys. <laughs> Right guys, so here we have a slight bit of a problem. This ewe has just got a little bit of ringworm. So it's not really small. Basically the cervix that the lamb has to pass through is like a rubber ring. And when she's giving birth, her hormones will make it spread. But on the occasional ewe, this won't. And it's like a rubber ring. Like, oh, what you have to do is kind of use your fingers to try and spread it gently because obviously it's a really really tight muscle and hopefully by keep doing this it should spread enough to get the lamb out and then we're going to adopt one onto her too so fingers crossed this lamb's going to be okay ellie's coming down to hold her for me so basically all i'm trying to do is go like this on the cervix and work my fingers around it just to try and get it to loosen up enough to get this lamb through it's huge well you don't win them all guys unfortunately that took us forever to get out as you can see down here we've got a huge dead top plant not the nicest but we did our best to get out we finally did the problem was the cervix just wasn't opening quick enough by the time we got him out he had no heartbeat swung him a bit and he was full of fluid but so on the bright side, she has taken to the lamb off the triplet, so at least she's got a lamb to look after. We're giving her some antibiotics and some metacam to take away the pain because I'm sure she's in a lot of pain right now. Fingers crossed she'll be all right. We'll leave her for a little bit just to settle down. And it's just one of those things, guys. We haven't had one this year, touch wood, like this yet. So this is the hardest one we've had to lamb and there just wasn't the space for it to come out and when it did come out it unfortunately was dead so not the best morning but we're gonna go on get all the ewes and lambs out and onwards and upwards from there so we're now down at the crash pen and the plan is what we're gonna do get all the wrapper hurdles get them all in and then we're gonna split them ewes and lambs we're gonna take all the ewes in one load all the lambs in another we might need a load and a half of these actually but we don't like to transport them together because obviously all the little lambs under the ewes they can get crushed and injured so we try to avoid that so that's the plan we'll get them all into the wrapper hurdles and then we'll crack on with it Help, up, 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 up. Help. so that is all the ewes and lambs penned up i'm trying to stick a couple of yards away as she won't be able to hear me can you see they're all in the brown wrapper pen Plan is now we're going to load this trailer up with lambs. I'll take the lambs down, and I'll come back and get the ewes. The reason I'm doing it this way because last year when we did it, we did the ewes um, first and they won't leave the lambs, and they're an absolute nightmare to load. So, we're going to learn from it, and this year we're going to do it that way around. Right guys, that is the top deck, all four of lambs, you see in there. So we're all fully loaded. What we're gonna do, I've changed my mind a little bit. We're gonna put all ewes on the bottom deck just so the loads all balance and there's not many lambs left. So we're gonna crack on and do that. Go on girls. One, two, three. Four, 
boy, they make a racket, don't they? First load on. I think it was a good idea, actually. I put the use on. Now we've done that, it'll be the use that lambs are still in here. Right, we are here, guys. The first load to go out to grass of the year, which is an amazing feeling. Have the weather on our side for once over the last couple of weeks. Ellie, do the honours. Come on, girls. Straight down on some grazing now to let the little lambos out. Some patience getting them off, but all the use and lambs on the load are now off. They're loving it. Some are already running around. Obviously, not all the mums are here, so we're going to head back as quick as possible without breaking the law. Obviously, get the rest of them here so they're all with their lambs and the use they're all together. So, did you have one trying to get back on? Yeah. This one, literally all the way through, was trying to get back on the trailer. I think your mummy's even here somewhere. Right, pop it down. Let's get going out. We're back for load two. The question is, how much space are we going to need for lambs? We're going to need half a deck, a full deck, or one and a half. I am thinking, I can't decide half or full. We're going to put them on the top again. I know it's a pain getting them off, but it's the best way because I'd rather have them top than use top. And, you know what I mean. So we'll crack on, get them all loaded again, and then off down to the lovely sunny field. Before the trailer's even ready, she's here with the lambs. Come on, Lambo. Come on, Lambo. Oh, it's safe. Right, girls. One set time, please. One set time. Another one all loaded up. Lambs full on the top, use on the bottom once again and that is all the lambs loaded in fact so we best get to field because the others will be wondering where the mums are round two of unloading here we go now i've drawn the short straw last time ellie went at the back of the trailer pushing lambs this time i am hello lambs how are you today? Uh, I'm not small enough for this. Oh! We are back again. It's time to get these ladies to their little Lambo. So, come on, girls. That is the usual loaded. Sorry I stopped filming for a bit, it was getting quite hard with just one hand, so I just had to put the camera down. We'll head off down to the field and they can be reunited. Reunited. Reunited with their lamb. <laughs> Isn't it just a great sight to see all the ewes and lambs out of the grass? I say all, I mean half of them pretty much. But it's great to see, we've got some of the lambs nibbled at grass already. We've got some of them found the mums, what they're going to do now is they're all mixed up so we're going to leave them, let them find the mums and then come back in a little bit with some feed to make sure they're all okay. Probably best just to let them settle on their own so they, they can all relax. But it's just a great sight isn't it? Use lambs, fresh grass and the weather's good. Well, the sun's behind the cloud but I assure you the sun's out too. Right guys, so we are all back once again. Just come for a check up on that Ewan lamb. By the looks of it, she's licked it clean, so that's a great sign. There she is. So that's the adopted lamb on the ewe that lost the lamb earlier. So it's a great sign. Even though she lost one, at least we've got one to take to her. So really good sign and she looks like a good mum. She's got plenty of milk, so probably should have put another one on. But unfortunately we don't have another one because we don't have any triplets quite yet. We'll have a quick wander around. It doesn't look like anything's currently lambing, but you never know. Oh, we've got a lamb. How are you? Not a bad way to top off the afternoon. Beautiful weather and a beautiful twin. So she's going to have another one after it. I said that, Willie. A beautiful twin, yeah? 
How the hell is Josie? I come down there to check the sheep and she miraculously manages to get out the house and maybe shouldn't have taught her how to use the dog flap because now she can she can get out the cat dog flap and then there's a huge gate and she can jump over it. Josie! Jo no! Cop! <laughs> Elle, can you pop her back in the house please? Pop her in the kitchen now she knows how to get out. She's too smart. After returning Will's dog back to the house, I'm um, going to start moving some of the ewes and lambs back into the now empty crash bed while Will is currently bottle feeding. Hello people. Hello. Right, Elle, if you move number 24, 85, 59. Also, it's very nice because some of these ewes that we're moving now are the ones that had a little bit of problems with mastitis. So, very, very nice. So, 59. Go on, girl. Out you go. Come on. And this one is the most special you that we're going to be putting out. This one is Jeremy. So all you've been watching all the way through the Lambing Vlogs, look how well Jeremy looks with his mum. All right, mate. He actually came inside when it was really cold. Sorry, Jeremy was really cold and he didn't look like he'd do so well. But now, about a week later, you're an absolute no. cock. It's a smashing lamb now. If you saw him a week ago compared to now, you would not believe they're the same. But We'll undo this, and then we'll get them in. Found it. Go on, Lammy. Some more great news, guys. So me and Ellie have left these while we were moving all the sheep around. We've got quite a lot moved. We're about halfway through it now. But we've had a second beautiful twin, so it's ideal. I'm going to leave them to it and carry on moving sheep around because we want to get them all moved today. Quick change of plan. As I just said, those two lambs are doing A-OK. -okay. But before it goes dark, as it's going to be dark about an hour, we're going to go and check those ewes and lambs that we dropped off earlier to make sure they're A-OK -okay and give them a feed. So that is the plan now. I'll see you down there. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Well guys, as you probably just saw by that, it is an absolutely stunning evening. Blue skies, the sun is out, you could not ask for a better night for these lambs on their first night outside. If you look at them, they're all enjoying it, they're all kind of run about, they just need to find the mums again now. Well I came down here, as you saw it as well, they're all paired up, so really happy, all looking well, and just couldn't be happy with how today's gone to be fair. Just look at them guys. Well that is me happy, I'm not going to lie, it's probably the best day we've ever put lambs out in February. Don't want to jinx the weather because obviously Monday it's going to rain so hopefully these can all be battle hardened for then. But we're going to head back now, finish it off that shuffling round and see if anything else has been born. We're also going to put those twins into a fresh pen. Basically we're having a huge move around that we've already moved 15 ewes and lambs but you guys probably don't want to see us all doing that because you see me do it all lambing. So I'm going to tag and tail a few more, get moved around and then we'll see where we are. So everyone, we've basically done tagging and tailing and moving all the ewes around. We've just got the last couple here. We've got one really cool thing here. Well, cool for me, I'm a little bit sad. And that is because the lamb I'm about to tag will be the thousandth lamb that we've tagged on the farm. Can you see that? So this basically means in the last eight years, we've had a thousand lambs now, and that's quite an achievement for myself. 
So I thought I'd get on footage me filming the 1,000th lamb on the farm being tagged. So I may as well crack on, get it tagged. Right guys, so this is it. Number 1,000 is going on. So quite simple, goes in the applicator. I know most of you have seen me do it already. And I always put surgical spirit on the point to avoid infection. So hopefully you can see, tag number 1,000. You're in. Now we just do the EID tag, which is the electronic tag, so that's the yellow one. I know, mate. Don't you feel lucky? You're the thousandth lamb on the farm. There we go, mate. You're a bit of history at Cowley Hill. So if you ever see 89 in the field, That'll be number 1,000. It's a nice u lamb too. Ran out with purple spray, so number 1,000 is going to have a pink 89 too, so hopefully this works all right. That's it. So if you see the pink 89 in the field with purple side two, that is number 1,000. So that is the day done and the big move round all done. So we basically have another 15, 20 U's back in the crest. So we've cleared all these out and refilled and all that kind of jazz. If you look across the crest, it looks very empty, but still there's a lot more than there was earlier because obviously we cleared it all. And then all these pens, about half of them are empty now. There is absolutely no pens in the top shed. So there's about 33 now left to lamb, I think, off the top of my head. They've all got haylage, all got water, all happy. But unfortunately, we've had to develop a Cade pen. So 38 and 39, you should all remember, they're at the back of the top shed. They kept getting out and going to the other mum. What's happened, the mum has rejected one of each lamb because she thinks it's the other one and neither one will take either of them. So we've ended up with two Cades. They're in there. Hopefully, we'll get them adopted onto a single, but she's added another two that we need to adopt on. We'll keep bottling them, but they should be okay. Three is all okay, isn't it, Soph? Soph's come down. Soph has come down kindly to help me bottle feed and feed up at the end of the day. It's been a big day, and I hope you enjoyed it. Great to get the lambs out in the sunshine when it is nice in the mornings. Massive thank you for watching today, guys. If you did enjoy it, what do you do, Soph? Like the video. And then what do you do if you want to see the and video if you tomorrow? If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel. That's what you do. So if you want to see another video in the morning, guys, more lambing. We're getting near the tail end now. Please subscribe to the channel. And quite soon, the ewe lambs are going to start. So that's when we can see what the Roosan lambs are like. So look forward to that, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers, guys. Bye. <laughs>